It is not another APC convention. It is the presidential declaration of the governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, who today formally announced to the world his intention to take a shot at the presidency, putting an end to months of speculation. Over 22,000 supporters from across the nation are gathered here for only one purpose. Where we are here today is to celebrate His Excellency in advance. We are very optimistic that His Excellency deserves to be the president of this country for three reasons. One, Nigeria has a lot of security challenges like we all know. Kogi state is bordered by nine states and if Yaya Bello can secure Kogi, I'm very optimistic that if he's given the opportunity, he will be able to secure Nigeria. And age is in his side. President Muhammad Buhari has done marvelous well. Gone are those days when we have bomb attack in uh, Abuja. But since Buhari came on board, we have drawn them down to Maluguri. If you are able to take over from President Muhammad Buhari, I'm very optimistic that the issue of banditry, terrorism, kidnapping on the federal highway will be the things of the past. We are not as united as we ought to be. There is difference of insecure and foreign and religious life, difference along tribal line. So we need to come together to work and to move as a nation. First of all, we need to see ourselves as Nigerians before we look at ourselves as what we can do. So Yayabelo has exemplified that characteristic of unity in Kogi State. And when he becomes the president by the grace of God in 2023, he will be able to unite Nigeria across you know ethnic line, across religious line. And some fanfare. Then the man of the moment, 46-year-old Yahya Adoza Bello, who formally declares. The Abelo presidency will proceed to declare The younger generation makes the population, and we know exactly where it pinches, and we will be the one to know how to fix it. That is why I am craving for the support of all Nigerians and my party our leaders and elders and stalwarts to give me the opportunity and let us have. Irrespective of your tribe, your religion, and your, the geopolitical zone you come from. Poverty does not know religion. Poverty does not know uh, the, uh, the tribe. Insecurity does not know religion and tribe. That is exactly why I am running. We have achieved it in Kogi State, and we shall replicate and achieve even more for the country. Why should Nigerians, two, over 200 million Nigerians, be voting for you in 2023? Very simple, like we said, we have defined politics and governance and leadership in Kogi State. Looking at my track record and performance, if you visit our website and the e-compendium, you will exactly know that the time is now for the younger generation to take our destinies in our hands. Yahya Bello joins the long list of presidential aspirants within the APC, including two-time governor of Lagos, Paula Ahmed Tinubu. Mary Chinda, Arise News.